In this video I will show you how to map tank controls in MAME. I'll show you the traditional way which is two joysticks that each move up and down. But I'm also going to show you a way to trick MAME into using only a single eight-way joystick to control the tank. So when you're using the traditional setup like this with two sticks, it's pretty self-explanatory in MAME. You'll see player one right up. So that's just the right stick up. Player one right down is the right stick down. And then of course the left side the same thing. Left up and left down. So you just map those four things and then it controls something like this. You press both sticks up to move the tank forward, both sticks down to move the tank back. You can press one stick up and one down to rotate the tank and do the opposite, the other stick up, the other one down to rotate in the other direction. You can also just press um, either of the sticks up to do kind of a wide turn like that, which also works going down as well. So that's your traditional tank controls using two sticks. Now let me show you the trick into getting MAME to control a tank using only one eight-way joystick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map two directions on my joystick for each of the four inputs in MAME. So the first input is right slash up. So I'm going to map up or left on my joystick. The next one is right slash down. I'm going to map down or right. The next one is left slash up. I'm going to map up or right. And finally we have left slash down. I'm going to map down or left. So let's go into the game and see how this controls. I press up on the joystick to move the tank forward, down to move it back. Left or right will rotate the tank in place and then you still have the diagonals available to make those Y turns I was showing you. And they work of course going forward or backwards. And that's it. So that's all you got to do to use the single joystick in MAME if you don't have two available. Now of course what I just showed you only controls the movement of the tank itself. You still need to map a fire button. Some games might have a secondary fire button. In this case I have smart bombs as my secondary weapon. And this game Vindicators actually uses four buttons in addition to the two sticks. So besides the weapons I just showed you, there's two buttons on the top here that actually rotate the turret on the tank. So I can fire in all directions. And you can even do this while you're driving the tank. So there's quite a bit going on in Vindicators. One game that has some of the most complicated tank controls in MAME is Assault. The reason is because instead of just moving up and down, it actually uses eight-way joysticks. So you have your typical tank controls, but if you press both joysticks to the left, the tank will roll to the left, and then the same thing to the right. If you press the joysticks away from each other, you'll actually line up for a mortar shot. And if you're in the mortar mode and you press them toward each other, you would quickly get out of it and go back to your traditional tank mode. So that's a pretty demanding game as far as uh, tank controls go. If you don't have a setup like this with two joysticks and a button, I would recommend actually using a regular controller like this. While it makes sense and you might be tempted to use the analog sticks, I don't think it'll be as responsive as you want. So I'd actually stick to the digital controls, the D-pad for the left stick and then the face buttons for the right stick. And then you just map your uh, fire button up here. It will work. So that's my recommendation if you don't have a setup like this for assault. Now just because the game has a tank in it, like this game here, Tank Force, which is the sequel to Tank Battalion, doesn't mean it has tank controls. This uses a four-way joystick and really controls more like Pac-Man than anything with a fire button. Uh, but neither of the uh, mapping methods I showed you before would really work with this game. So just stick to the four-way joystick on this one. So recently I wanted to play the Atari 2600 version of Battlezone, but I wanted to see if I could use the two-stick traditional tank controls instead of the single eight-way stick that would have come with the Atari. And I actually found a way to do it, so I'll show you how I mapped it right here. I did uh, recently make a video on this. So for up, I map both sticks up, or the left stick up, or the right stick up. For down, map both sticks down, or the left stick down, or the right stick down. For left, I map the right stick up and the left stick down, or the right stick up, or the left stick down. And finally, for right, I map the left stick up 
and the right stick down, or the left stick up, or the right stick down. And back in the game, it actually works. And there's a number of other games that would um, work with this uh, method. I might do some other videos if I get bored one day. But I was just happy to get this uh, game working. <laughs>